Hi, I'm Paul from Beyond the Trail. I'm so excited to be out today, back in the Ogwin Valley for a project to film for this channel that's been on my tick list for a long time, Dolmen Ridge. One of the most incredible grade three scrambling routes in all of the UK, as you're about to see. One of the great things about this route, the Dolmen Ridge, is this really exciting approach that brings you up the moraine field that's tumbling down off Thin Bothloid as we arrive in Cum Bothloid. Just to think that this was deposited for the outflow from the lake some 10,000 years ago by the glacier that was sitting here in Cum Bothloid and just flowing down Leopard into Nant Franco and right down the Ogwen Valley, down towards Kapelkirig. It's the most incredible geology, what amazing history. So after making your way up from Ogwen Valley, coming out of both the moraines for Llyn Bochloid, Lake Bochloid, we just move either left or right of the lake, either up the path that goes towards the south col of Trevan, the bulk of Trevan, or coming up through really marshy ground and boulder fields, bring you directly to the north face of Glodovach, which is just up behind me there in the shade. And what we're hoping for is that as we arrive on the climb, the sun is just gonna break around further south and west and just light up our route as we're going up. The approach route only takes about an hour and 15 minutes, but that can be quite a strenuous hour and 15 minutes. And then you get to the start of the main gully in the face, which is just heading up to my left. You just see going up through there and the sun just starting to catch the side of the dolmen buttress. The start for the route is where this really defined quartz band is. And you can start by going straight up through the middle of this gap onto a ledge and then heading out round right and peeling back into the left where you then start to take the right edge of the gully, just keeping the bed of the gully in sight. Other guides might actually suggest that you go up the left wall of the gully, but that's actually a little bit broken um, and perhaps maybe not as enjoyable. But why not try both? Abby and I are just making our way up the right hand edge of the gully. We can see the gully bed beneath us. And we've probably climbed 30 meters or so in a route that ascends 300 meters in total. And this section really isn't inspiring climbing, but what you really get excited about is approaching a ramp, which you can just see the top of, bursting into the sunshine there, a ramp that edges along the gully with a massive drop, and then you go up a spectacular groove on excellent climbing. now standing at the start of the ramp that heads out onto the ridge proper and up Dolmen Ridge. What perfect timing as well for the sun to arrive on the route as a break out on here right onto the edge of the ramp. Looking back down to the start of the gully and all the way back to the approach. Most spectacular route in this area. 
this is the start of the main groove when you get out onto the ridge and just stick to the deep groove on the left here that's broken it's got chalk stones making your way up on some really nice holds spikes and if you were climbing with a rope there's loads of protection on here just stepping up into the corner a couple of bridging moves and up into the main groove and although we're soloing today we're wearing helmets and very aware of our own grades on a day where this is wet this would be a tricky climb on a day like this in the gorgeous sunshine it still has its risks so only come and climb these routes if you're suitably experienced with the right equipment this is a grade three scramble anything above that you're going to be using a rope and many people would use a rope on this route too So after the main groove and up the ridge we get to this really fun tilting ramp system that heads up to a buttress above. We'll just make our way up these little ramps bit by bit and out onto this ledge. Oh, just as a gorgeous cloud is setting in over the Carnelli and over ahead of us and after that little ramp section we arrive here under what looks like a tomb You've got this huge slab making a roof boxing in what looks like a prehistoric tomb and as I understand it that's where this route gets its name from dolmen I'm not sure of the origin of the word but it's the appearance of this tomb like structure beauty of routes like this grade 3 scrambles is that you can generally pick the route that you want to go wonderful little sections like this on massive blocky boulders and edges with really exhilarating exposure make this route really quite fantastic just finished the final part of the actual crest and there's just another tower here as we move our way up towards the summit of Glodervach where you'll find the cantilever as well it's just getting late in the afternoon the sun is getting a little bit softer and it's still beautiful climbing sitting at the top of the route now and just looking back down at where we finished on the crest onto the shoulder that comes up onto the summit plateau of Blood of Ach, and the summits just behind us it really is one of the most brilliant routes in North Wales and now we stand looking at Blood of Ach, and all the summits going down towards the coast 